The following question is about uh, Bronsted Lowry acid base theory, and the question states which statement explains the observation that magnesium hydroxide, which is uh, MgOH2, and magnesium hydroxide is a metal hydroxide, so it's a it's a base, and it dissolves. It's saying that magnesium hydroxide dissolves in aqueous ammonium chloride, but not in aqueous sodium chloride. Now, from uh, if you remember our equations correctly, we know that uh, bases like magnesium hydroxide are going to react. They're going to react. Uh, so it's a base, metal hydroxide. It's a base. They react with ammonium salts like NH4Cl. And this is your ammonium salt. And they end up producing uh, a salt, which in this case is going to be magnesium chloride and a water molecule and an ammonia gas molecule so these would be produced and we can uh, we can try to balance this equation as well uh, it's going to be 2 NH4Cl, 2 NH3 and 2 water molecules so this is, uh, uh, this is the equation which we remember uh, constructing a base reacting with an ammonium salt producing salt, water and NH3 now the only reason why a base would react with ammonium salt is that if this ammonium salt is behaving as an acid. Now, according to Brossard Lowry acid base theory, acids produce H plus 1 ions. And this ammonium salt has this NH4 plus ion. If you look at this NH4 plus 1 ion, uh, it is capable of behaving as an acid. Is uh, The reason is because it can lose an H plus 1 and produce NH3, which is ammonia, and it can produce an H plus 1 ion. So you have your base over here which is a source of OH ions and you have your acid over here which is a source of H plus 1 ions and these H plus 1 ions and these OH ions over here they combine to form water and what happens to NH4 plus 1 it changes into ammonia gas so NH3 gas is given off and the H plus 1 lost by NH4 and the OH minus 1 uh, uh, produced by the base they end up forming water molecules and the leftover ions, the spectator ions, uh, Mg2 plus and Cl minus 1, they combine to form the salt. So the reason why NH4Cl can react with MgOH2 is because it can behave as an acid. So option D for this question is correct, uh, that NH4 plus 1 ion is capable of donating a proton which is, which is H plus 1 ions. The rest of the options are going to be incorrect the ionic radius of NH4 plus 1 the ionic radius doesn't matter it doesn't matter uh, when it comes to reactions NH4Cl dissociates less fully than NCl. both are very soluble and both dissociate almost fully the Na plus 1 and Mg2 plus ions have the same number of electrons that's also not an issue uh, the only reason why this base is reacting with or dissolving in NH4Cl is because this is capable of acting as an acid and it acts as an acid in this equation so it's a Brosted Lowry acid, it's capable of donating H plus 1 ions.